You don't get any any attention, do you, Nora? She's always rolling on her back and wiggling and wanting belly rubs. Nora really wants attention. Oh, God. If she knows she's going on a car ride, she'll jump on the couches. If there's a dog in the room, she'll go towards that dog. She's always wanting to play with them. She just bounces. I'd call it the Nora Hops. I don't know why. I even said I don't know if I'm going to adopt her. I was working at a university as a vet tech. And Nora was one of the lucky dogs that was found by a rescue. Come here! She was really timid at first and slower because she was sick. Wave to everybody, say hello. And something was really going on with her arm. I wasn't looking for a dog at the time. But there was just something special about Nora. And I said, I want this dog. I was also living in a small apartment. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep her. I had a lot of stipulations for dogs. They have to like people, they have to get along with my cat. So I tried to start taking her everywhere. I brought her to work with me. <laughs> and then everybody loved to pet her. Everyone was very supportive. Wait for me. I took her hiking for the first time. I just would take her places and we kind of formed a bond. And her personality really started to shine. What? What's the matter? She got a little bit more feisty. Come on. She started to become more confident. She can be naughty sometimes. She'll rip a thing. And she'll kind of do the high-pitched whine and squeak. <laughs> but I'm glad she came into my life because she's my best friend. Nora's gotten me to be a little bit more outgoing. She definitely gives me more confidence too, and it gives me something to talk about. She just needed somebody to believe in her and somebody to trust. I just kind of gave that safe space for her to be out herself. 